Hi everybody and welcome back to Workout with Peter. My name is Peter and today it's time to do a yoga workout. Uh, we're gonna do a short, pretty intensive, really fun yoga workout that is suitable for everybody. The whole family can take part here. So make sure you get them all together and make sure you have, well, you don't really need a mat. It makes some of the positions a lot more comfortable, but you'll be fine without it. You can do it on the grass if you're outdoors or just on the floor or any type of mat at home as well. And you don't need any other equipment at all. So if you're ready, we're gonna start here in the back of the mat and have a straight body. And you're gonna lift your arms up and reach for the sky, everybody. You can interlock the fingers and try to really reach for the sky. You can try, start to lean back a little bit more if you want to. Take a deep breath. And when you exhale, you're gonna come down and touch your toes if you can. If you can't come down, you go as far as you can. But if you do this quite often, you will be able to touch your toes soon. I can almost promise you that. Now, with straight legs, we are going to walk forward with the hands into a high plank. Make sure you have a strong core, have a strong uh, legs, activate the glute muscles, the butt muscles, and the shoulders and the arms. Then we're gonna lift the right leg and put the right knee to the right elbow, left knee to the left elbow and one more time. Put the legs back and you can put the legs wider apart if you want to and start to walk back again. Try to have as straight legs as you can and come up again. Touch the sky, reach for the sky again. And we're gonna do this one more time where take a deep breath in and exhale and come down to the to the, to the mat with the hands, walk forward into a high plank, lift right leg to right elbow, left leg, left elbow, right leg to right elbow, left leg to left elbow. Should we try one more with the right leg to the left elbow and the left leg to the right elbow? Excellent job, everybody. Then we'll walk up again, reach for the, for, the, for the sky and come down. Now we're gonna come into a downward dog. So first you walk forward with the hands and then you stop there into a downward dog. So try to press the heels towards the, the floor straight arms if you can and press the the hips kind of back as well so you have a fairly straight back take one more big breath and then we're gonna lift our right leg up and then we're gonna put that inside the right hand and come down with the knee into a low lunge. Then we're gonna put the left hand inside the right foot and then we're gonna twist open. Three, two, one, and put the hand down again. Come up to, we call this a runner's lunge. Because it kind of looks like a runner is about to take off, right? And put the right foot back into a downward dog. And put the left foot inside the left hand and the right knee down to the ground. 
come up. When you have a good balance, you're going to put the right hand inside the left foot and twist open. Try to look up towards the hand if you can. Excellent job, everybody. Three, two, one. Put the hand down. Come up to a runner's lunge. Ready, set, go. No, we're not gonna run. And then we put the right leg forward and we're gonna come up to a mountain pose again where we reach for the sky. And then we're gonna try to do a one leg balance or march hold if you wanna call it that because I can show you this way. We're gonna stand on our right leg and we lift the left knee up. Oops. And if you can, you can reach the arm straight up. And if this is too easy for you and you want an even bigger challenge, you can try to close your eyes as well, which makes it way harder. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. I'm gonna turn this way and put the left foot down lift the right knee, find a good balance, lift the arm straight up, five, four, three, two, one, Put the foot down. Now we're gonna do a cool move here. We're gonna lift the left knee up again and we're gonna lean forward a little without trying, without putting the foot down, but we're, now we're gonna put the left foot down in the back here. We're gonna do a warrior two. So point the back toes forward a little bit and the front toes should be pointing straight forward. And then we'll try to come down. Try to keep your shoulders on top of your hips here. And when you have a good balance, you are going to have the arms straight out like a warrior. And you can look over the, the, the right hand. Let's do it for five more seconds. Four. Three, two, one, and come up straight leg. Let's switch. So the right toes are pointing forward a little and left toes pointing forward the whole way. And then we come down to worry two on this side. When you have a good balance, then arms out again. And look over the left hand. You do five more seconds. You can do that easily. I know that. Five, four, three, two, one, and straighten the leg. Have the toes. Now you're gonna be stand wide legged, and the toes are gonna point out a little bit. Now we're gonna do a sumo squat. So uh, when you have a good position, you're gonna kind of put the hands on the knees and try to press yourself a little bit deeper and deeper. And when you can't go any deeper, you're gonna come up with your back and arms straight out. And try to press your knees out to the, towards the sides a little bit. For how long do you think you can stay here? Should we stay for like three minutes? No, we're gonna come up in 10 seconds, which is quite hard in that. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's come up. 
Excellent job, guys. Let's come to the front of the mat. We're gonna roll back, sit down on the, on the mat. We're gonna do, a, now first we're gonna get on the boat and then we're gonna climb the rope. The last two moves we have today. So the boat is, if you can now, we're gonna lift our legs up, have a quite straight back so you're not sitting like that, so straight back, and have the arms straight out. If you can't find the balance here, you can always put the, uh, what is it called, the, the heels down on the ground. And the deeper down you come, the harder it is. And if you feel your body start to shake, that's a good thing. That's mean the core and the muscles are working hard. Five, four, three, two, and one, and come down. Now we're gonna line down on the back and climb a rope. You're gonna lift the legs up. Imagine there's a rope hanging down from your feet now. And then we're gonna climb that up. Two, let's do three, four, Let's do 12, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then you stay there and try to put the legs down slowly, slowly, slowly. And that's it, everybody. Fantastic job. That was fun. Even more fun because you're taking part as well. And, and I know I will see you soon again for another workout, right? Okay, have a fantastic day, everybody. And I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.